introducing ISA as an organization to you. The values. What we would like to do here is we want to take this uh, one hour or less, inshallah, to give you. It would be like a freelancer. We are talking to you. We are not speaking to you. Okay? Because at the end of the day, we want to make sure that when you leave from here, you are in a better position than when you came in about ISA, the value of this great organization, and ways and means for you to join, inshallah. Okay? That happened. Okay? What well, used to be very technical mission. All right. Uh, there's about 400,000 members. Globally speaking, in Saudi Arabia we have about 186. But what you can see here is we are addressing the industry needs, okay? And these are the different industries that you can see, from raw material processing uh, to manufacturing. Construction people who are in Saudi Arabian industry are the most impacted by this organization, honestly. Okay. Now. This organization is an authority. It's an authority in standard uh, education, certifications, conferences, and exhibits. And I'm sure some of you have attended. Now, what does the industry okay, in need for? It's a need for skilled workforce, as you all know. Okay, they are need for you and I. We are in need, basically, for uh, ability to uh, assess skills of assessing, developing best practices, educations, continuing educations, post-academic, and everyone is pushing for something called operational excellence. Everybody wants excellence in this world. Okay. So how does ISA can fulfill that premise? Well, they have different part of knowledge sharing and exchange. Okay. What we learn from you and you learn from us we spread it around. So that's how we make use of this space associated. Now, uh, this is a little bit more into the details of how we get the workforce more skilled. There is structured training. Along with that, there are some certifications. But as you can see here, it covers here broad industry. Okay, from instrumentations to safety to cybersecurity, etc. Okay, and along with that, it basically reflects the technical skills that you may also get. So you can be here as a professional, okay, engineer, or you can be a skilled technician. Okay, these are the two tracks that ISA has. And they also have basically for the profit for the technicians and for the professional. Of course, since then they have a spread spectrum of certification. They have it now cybersecurity and wireless and the list goes on. Okay. And you may ask why you want to be certified. And this is part of your self-development, even the company expect that for you to be more competitive in this industry. Here in Saudi Arabia and outside, you will need the certificates. So this is the great value that you can get out of this great organization. Okay, this simply here shows basically the different programs that they have. Okay, and I say they have something called division level, where there's areas of concentrations, whether it is in versus division or in the food or in power. Basically, this is much more. In a way, it's just focused on specific discipline. Okay. Now, moreover, there are some books that you can buy online. Okay, you can download. Okay, and they are discounted, by the way. Okay. So the books that you buy from us, entities, technical papers, and uh, there's also magazines that you will get uh, hard copy and online. So as you can see, there's a different venues of getting information. Categories. Currently, there was increased 130, 245, and uh, 340. Uh, what we have also during this, uh, during 
uh, we have a local section. This is what we are running us now here, and already explain about the divisions. So each division it has its own website and it has its own updates. So you can see all the updates if you are interested in a certain uh, subject. For example, I give myself an example here. I am an automation professional. I offer the you these benefits, uh, which will be explained later by uh, my friend Ahmed. Of course, you can view the standards uh, collection uh, through the following standards applications. Then you can view ISA standards. And later, you can see the list of uh, society for artificial intelligence also was already done. For our section, we have uh, an initiative done by our section is to promote, if you participate or if you join us for three years, you will join, we will return to you as only you join two years. So as uh, we have the 130 for one year. 20, I think, per year. No, 130. They return back the prices. No, 130, oh. I'm sure about this. So 245 for two years and 340 for three years. So once you participate with uh, 340 years, 340, our section will reimburse for you or return the money to, to as two years. But one year extra. So to be recorded in the system of ISA, you need to pay three years first, then communicate with us and we will give you the back. Usually it will take like one week or two weeks to return the money for you. I hope that, so, yes. So from a process, how does it work? They sign up, they sign up first, they pay with the international, and then what do they do? Then they will send the, uh, your documents, Receive. the certificate of the membership that, that you participate for three years, and your membership ID, and then you send it to us. Later, we communicate with you to give, to, uh, to give you the money. Uh, later, my, my colleague, I will inform you about uh, how to return back the money for you. But please consider being a member, because with it, you get a lot of benefits, inshallah. Sure. Uh, I think my colleague will explain about this. So we have like six, seven. Okay. Who has attended an ISA meeting before? Listen uh, on YouTube about investment. They always say the best investment you can ever make is to invest in yourself. Yes. Right? I know uh, very few people will, will pay $120 just to uh, uh, you know, uh, join a professional society, especially in Saudi Arabia where they can attend the meetings for free, even if they are not members. But really, if, you, if you're really after developing yourself and you want to grow in your profession, you realize that it's worth it. And the benefits, the knowledge you, you can gain from ISA is, is, is worth this investment. And uh, we're lucky in you know, Saudi Aramco, I, I used to work in Saudi Aramco until I retired last year, but um, uh, Aramco pays uh, its engineers at least one professional membership. So they reimburse their professional work for uh, keeping uh, my relationship with ISA. So before I start, let me ask uh, speed with technology. You need to. Um, be ahead of the, to be ahead of the game, or you know, uh, everyone everybody wants to uh, become uh, this, yani, you don't want to be just you know a worker in your company. You want to excel. You want to prove yourself. You want to be uh, a recognized engineer or employee or whatever. So 
technical <laughs> development is the way to do this. All right, uh, enough marketing. I'm, uh, I'm not a salesperson, but looks like I have a good potential. Uh, uh, as Dr. Seneman said, uh, part of the benefits of uh, ISA membership is to have free access to ISA standards. Uh, viewing, not, uh, not like the hard copy, but at least you can view and read these standards. And these standards are very useful, very important. Some of the ISA standards are really global. They are like the benchmark of the industry, like ISA 5.1 or symbols. Mm. It's probably the only one available, uh, used by all everybody in the world almost. Uh, Cybersecurity ISA 99, also it's uh, very well known, it's used by most uh, companies. Uh, the safety it started as ISA 84, now, uh, then it became an IEC, which is international. So these uh, standards are very important, and maybe you, you don't know, but chances are you are using some of these standards already. So what is a standard? A standard is a document that sets forth requirements that a process system, product, and or material must satisfy. If it's to be, they will welcome it. Because they want the end user perspective. Um, uh, you can also uh, suggest new standards. Uh, you can email them, idea at isa.org. If you feel that there is an area where they don't have a standard, um, This is just about their procedure. Uh, we don't need to uh, spend more, uh, much time. Voting members, well, uh, yeah, as I said, there's information member and voting members. Non-voting members are observers who may submit review comments and document on documents and participate in committee communication. Uh, they can be they can be elevated to voting status if they prove that they are active and they participate. All right, uh, so for more information, you can go to isa.org slash standards. Um, I just want to show you uh, the website. Uh, they will not even renew their e-commerce. Yeah. Okay, so this is really coming, but they are working on a phased out approach. They cannot just overnight and say, hey, we must have have this. So I had a meeting actually with the Saudi Council of Engineers almost like a couple of weeks ago and we talked about this uh, and they are embracing and they're going to be pushing for this certification. It is coming. So why wait? Okay, you can work from now and get ready for the future. And it's a self-development for you. Any other question? 